More than 600 women business owners gathered in San Diego to attend the 2011 National Association of Women Business Owners Conference. This year's theme was Access, Influence, Grow. NABO members were enthusiastic, engaged, and incredibly optimistic about the future of women in business. There are currently 8.1 million women-owned businesses in the U.S., employing 7.7 .7 million people and posting annual sales of $1.3 trillion. Author and keynote speaker Cindy Solomon summed up what made the 2011 conference so remarkable. Well, I think NABO is an extraordinary organization. I think they have been there for their constituencies through thick and thin, truly. And they're doing what's most needed right now, which is helping provide a different perspective, whether it's to women-owned businesses or anyone else, but in particular for NABO women-owned businesses. Women business owners need one another to learn from, to support one another, and to challenge one another to think differently. Lisa Price, founder of Carol's Daughter, a celebrity-driven ethnic hair and skin care product company, says she owes much of her success to support from NABO. When you're in a group like NABO and you can sit down and talk to other women and listen to them, you realize, oh, this is what being in business is like. She's going through it, and she's going through it, and she's going through it. I'm not deficient. <laughs> it's just business, you know? In addition to presentations by successful entrepreneurs like Lisa Price, several businesswomen were honored by NABO for their leadership and service. One was Linda Weinman, co-founder of Lynda.com, a fast-growing online computer and software training company. She shared her thoughts on business and success. I think one of the big lessons for me has been to trust my gut a little bit more than I might have when I first started the company and um, really believe in my intuition because it's pretty spot on most of the time and also be open to lots of different um, advisors and take in all the information but be willing to make the hard decisions alone. Linda, like many others attending the conference, expressed optimism about the future of America's women business owners. I think it's a fantastic time. I mean, everything that I'm hearing on the news is that small businesses are what's fueling the um, national and local economy. And so, um, you know, I don't think the big corporations are really hiring like they used to, and a lot of people are turning to start their own businesses. So I, I think it's a fantastic time. Gail Blanke, author and founder of Life Designs, shared her insights during a keynote and in this exclusive interview. I think this is a terrific time to be a woman in business, running a business of her own, to be a female entrepreneur. I don't think it gets much better than this, and here's why. Women, by our very nature, we uh, thrive in chaos because it's all around us, because we have so many things we're responsible for. I also think we're awfully good at helping each other. I like to think that women stand for each other's success. Maybe, maybe we even insist on each other's success. And now's the time to be there for each other. I think NABO stands apart in its support for female entrepreneurs really beautifully. But it wasn't all work and no play at the conference. Members were greeted by the mayor of San Diego, treated to a lavish cocktail reception sponsored by Union Bank, and everyone enjoyed a performance by Mexican folkloric dancers. NABO chairwoman Evelyn Strain shared some big news at the conference. We're very excited about moving back to Washington, D.C. That is where this organization started over 36 years ago. We feel like it was just imperative, now is the right time to reestablish that physical presence in Washington so that we can be at the table. We're also very happy to be announcing at the conference the new incoming president and CEO for NAVO. Her name is Diane Tom and she will be starting uh, officially here mid-September coming on board. She is a woman with just um, a wealth of experience in public and private sectors. The power of networking was in full force at the NABO conference. Women from across the country spent a day and a half making valuable personal and business connections and many corporate contacts. They learned how to boost cash flow, deal with the media, and solve all of their pressing business problems. The conference delivered everything that was promised. Helping NABO members access, influence, and grow.